close Netflix Bright with Will Smith and Joel Edgerton has not received good early reviews. USA Today's Oh Much for Mary and Bright reviews are in for the Netflix original where Will Smith and Joel Edgerton plays cops, and there are several outlets who don't think it's very fresh. We've rounded up the best critic slams of Smith and the fantasy action feature directed by David Ayer and written by Max Landis, which begins in Friday. Forbes, congratulations, Netflix, you can make a visually grotesque, dready dull and hopelessly convoluted would-be franchise action movie just as well as the stereotypical Hollywood machine. If anything, Bright is a giant Christmas, Hanukkah gift from Netflix to the major studios. It shows the ink giant falling on its face in its attempts to replicate the so-called Hollywood blockbuster, cinema blend, the problem is that this richly constructed world often comes at the expense of characters. Will Smith is more or less on autopilot, doing what everyone pretty much expects from a Will Smith action movie these days. In fact, if the name were WASNT directly printed on the uniform of Smith's character, we would have just assumed that we were looking at Suicide Squad's Floyd Lawton, IndieWire. A movie that boasts all the production value of an episode of Charmed, Netflix's first mega-budget film effort starts with an actually compelling premise that never gets off the ground. Close Bright star Will Smith says he no longer worries about releasing a movie, while co-star Joel Edgerton says that, while critical acclaim is nice, if no one s his films, it's pointless. December 21st at Rolling Stone, yeah I'll get lots of violence and colorful threats and confusing shootouts, but you're not going to get much meaning, the rap, astoundingly bad in virtually every way, Bright shares in common several of the shortcomings of Ayer's previous film, including conspicuous evidence of desperate efforts to cobble its under-explained and yet somehow overcomplicated mythology into something coherent, and, Smith seems lost here as Daryl, even as he retreads his wiseacre pose from films like Independence Day and especially Men in Black, the New York Times, Air Strait and to empty superhero theatrics with the slapdash Suicide Squad co-starring Mr. Smith and again dilutes his integrity with Mr. Smith's lightweight sitcom-like ability. Yeah, we'll find beatings, shootouts, car crashes, awkward oggies and a measure of buddy badinage in Bright, but true enchantment is in short supply, Vanity Fair, while well, I had the misfortune to see Bright in a theater, most people will simply press play out of curiosity on their Raku remote. I am willing to concede that this might elevate the experience a little the ability to take a quick trip to the kitchen or restroom after shouting, no, don't pause it to your partner on the couch will be liberating, more, the best critic slams of collateral beauty read or share this story, https colon slash slash usat dot ly slash 2bh3cfo.